This video will go over all the images available in the Tree Workbook. There are four types of images used in the Tree Workbook. Profile images, birth country flag images, surname images, and other inserted pictures. This video will show how to add, modify, and delete all these image types in the Tree Workbook. Images and media used in the Profile Workbook are discussed in the Profile Workbook Help Video. See that and all additional help videos for more Family Tree Excel options. The profile picture is a person's image used to represent them in the tree and on all applicable charts with images. Only one profile image is allowed to be added for a person at a time. If no image is added for a person, then a default silhouette will populate based on the person's sex. If their sex is unknown, then no image will populate. Adding a profile picture for a person can be done the same way via any of the five input forms. Click the photo button on the input forms. This will allow you to select the image you want to use as the profile picture for that person. The picture chosen must be one of these file types to display on the tree and charts. Note that the PNG and TIF files will display on the charts but will not display on the preview pane on the input forms. A copy of the file selected will automatically be created and saved into the Family Tree Excel directory. That way any modifications to the image will not affect the original version. Once you hit save on the input form, then the file will become linked to that person. So now anytime a chart with images is created, this image will display for that person. There are two ways to edit a profile image, a permanent edit and a non-permanent edit. Permanent edits involve editing the actual file linked and then saving the changes. This makes the change permanent and the modified image will now display every time a chart is created. This can be done by opening the file in the Family Tree Excel directory. Then you can edit or crop it via a normal computer program like Paint or Photos. This can also be done via the input forms. When a profile image was already linked for a person, when you open the input form, you will also now have the option to open the file when you click open, this will automatically open the file in the default program you have set up on your computer for files of similar types. Once opened, you can crop the image as you like, save the changes, and then hit save on the input form. Now the modified picture will always show on the tree and charts. To set a default program for images, find an image of the same file type, Right click on it, choose open with, then select choose default program to make the selection of your choice. These edits are permanently modifying the copy of the file that was created and saved into the Family Tree Excel directory. Your original file will remain unchanged. A non-permanent edit is one directly done on the chart worksheet itself. You can crop and modify the profile pictures directly in Excel before printing or exporting the chart. However, once the chart is rerun or recreated, all these non-permanent changes will be lost. There are two ways to delete a profile image. A permanent delete and a non-permanent delete. To permanently delete a profile picture, open an import form and click the delete button to unlink that image to that person. This will not delete the image from the directory. It will just unlink it to the person and restore the default silhouette used for that person's sex. There is no harm in letting the unused profile images sit in the Family Tree Excel directory. A non-permanent delete can happen directly on the chart worksheet itself. 
Just click on the image and hit delete to remove it from the chart. Once you rerun the chart or recreate the chart, the profile image will repopulate. Flag pictures are an image used to represent the birth country of a person on all applicable charts. Family Tree Excel comes with 82 of the more common flag image files. If a person's birth country input field matches a flag file name exactly, then the flag picture will populate on the chart. If no birth country is inputted, or if the input does not match the file name exactly, then no flag image will populate on the chart. To add a new flag image file to the directory, double click the Index and Media option cell, then click on Flags, then click Add Flag. This will allow you to choose a file on your computer to add to the directory. The file type must be a PNG file format. Once you choose a file, you will be asked to give the image a name. Make this name match the desired birth country input. If you want a different image for the country, but still keep the same name. Then double click the Index in Media option cell, then click on Flags, then click Add Flag. Choose the new PNG file that you want to use, then when prompted, enter the same country name. This will allow you to overwrite the existing image file. If you want to keep the file image but prefer an alternate version of a country's name to use on charts, then you can rename the file accordingly. Double click the Index and Media option cell, then click on Flags. Choose the country flag file you want to rename in the green list box. Then enter the new version of the name you want in the blue input field. Then hit Rename. This will rename the actual file, and now any birth country inputs that match the new file name will populate the image. To delete flags from a chart, you can click on the flag and just hit delete on the keyboard. If you want to delete all the flags on a chart at once, double click on delete flags option. These are non-permanent changes, so the next time the chart is created, the flags will repopulate. To permanently delete a flag image, on the tree worksheet, double click the Index and Media option cell, then click on Flags, then click on Open Flag Directory. This will open the directory folder. Here you can delete the file you want, or just view the current flag images. Surname images will populate only on direct line ancestor charts. If the surname of the selected great-grandparent line matches the surname image file name exactly, then the surname picture will populate on that direct line chart. If the surname is blank, or if the file name does not match exactly, then no image will populate on the chart. This image can be used to represent a specific line of the family, for example, a coat of arms. Adding, editing, and deleting surname images are done the same way as with the flag images.
to add a new surname image file to the directory. Double click the index immediate option cell, then click on surnames. Then click add surname. This will allow you to choose a file on your computer to add to the directory. The file type must be a PNG file format. Once you choose a file, you will be asked to give the image a name. Make this name match the desired surname for your chart. Double click the Index and Media option cell, then click on Surnames. Here you can also rename existing surname images by clicking on an existing file name in the green list box, enter the new name in the blue field, then click on Rename. You can also open the surname directory by clicking on Open Surname Directory. In here you can view the existing files and delete and edit them as you wish. To delete a surname image from a direct line chart, you can click on the image and hit delete on the keyboard. This is a non-permanent change. So the next time the chart is created, the surname image will repopulate. You can edit, crop, and delete any pictures populated on charts directly on the Excel worksheet using the normal Excel format options. These are non-permanent changes that will be erased once a chart is rerun or recreated. In addition to profile, flag, and surname images, you can also insert any picture onto a chart as you normally would to an Excel sheet. Click Insert, and then Pictures. From here you can choose whatever image you want to add to the chart. Any manually inserted pictures onto the charts are non-permanent additions as well, so they will be erased once a chart is rerun or recreated.